I collect shot glasses when I go on vacation, so I decided to make a shelf for them. I have 40, so I made 5 shelves of 8. I measured one glass, and it was 2 inches in diameter by 2 and a fourth inches in height. So I made one shelf with a height of 3 inches for the short ones, and the rest I made 3 and a half inches. I wanted each glass to have about 2.5 inches of horizontal space, so 2.5 times 8 is 20. But I also wanted the whole thing to be 20 inches wide, so I just made each shelf 19 inches. The outside frame should be sturdy, so I made that half an inch thick. And the shelves don't have to be quite as thick because the glasses don't weigh too much, so I made them 3 eighths of an inch thick. So I just did the bows, and I got four pieces of pine wood. This is 3 eighths inch by 2.5 by 24, and four pieces of poplar wood. This is 1 half inch by 2.5 by 24 and some nails to nail the shelves together. Okay, so these shelves are 24 inches, that's too long. I want them to be 19 inches. So I'm going to um, take the tape measure and measure 19 inches, make a mark on one side, and make a mark on the other side. And then I'm going to connect the lines. So I already did that for the other three, um, now I'm going to move on to the frame. So the two top ones are going to be 20 inches and the two sides are going to be 19 inches. So it's the same thing, measure 20 inches on one side, make a mark, 20 inches on the other side, make a mark. This is just so that my lines are straight. Um, connect the lines. And I'm going to do that four more times. After the wood was cut, I evened out the edges using sandpaper. So I did try to glue the frame together, but that didn't really work out. So instead, I decided to nail it together. This just makes the process of drilling holes a lot easier because I won't have to worry about the frame falling apart while I'm drilling. Here I already nailed three pieces together and this is just the last piece. So this is the screw that I'm going to be using to put the frame together. Now I need to pick the right size drill bit so I can drill a hole in the wood. Uh, if I use 332 or 1 16th, it's going to be too narrow of a hole and I'm going to have to use a lot of effort to screw this in. On the other hand, if I use 532 or 964, the hole is going to be too wide and uh, It'll just be loose. So I'm going to go with the 764th. It's about the same diameter as the screw, and this way the hole's going to be just right. To secure the drill bit, you rotate the metal piece clockwise, and then to tighten it even further, you use the key and rotate that clockwise. And then you're all set to use the drill. So, because I nailed the frame together, I didn't have to worry about holding it in place while I drilled holes. It's pretty self-explanatory at this point. I just drilled a hole, and then used a screwdriver to put in the screws. And I did this a total of four times. So when I drilled, I had to make sure that the drill was perpendicular to the frame, otherwise it would have splintered the wood and come out from the other side. That's because the frame is only a half an inch thick, so I didn't have much room for error. I have to say, I am pretty good at drilling, though my hands did get pretty tired by the end of it because the drill is really heavy. So I put in the screws manually, but that wasn't the only option. If I had wanted to, I could have replaced the drill bit with the head of a screwdriver, and then I could have used the drill to screw in the screws. But, I mean, there were only four, so it's not really that big of a deal to just do it manually. So here's the frame, and I put the four shelves in place. So this one is three inches because some of my shot glasses are shorter than others. This one is three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, and three and a half. So now I'm just going to take a pencil and mark three inches and three inches here and three and a half, three and a half on both sides for all of the shelves just so that they can be perfectly aligned. Okay, so I have one inch nails and I'm going to be putting two on each side of the shelf. So I measured the sides of the frame and made marks with pencil to indicate where the shelf should be on both sides. Then I just used a hammer and put the nails in. 
I did have a few problems with the nails bending and going in on a slant as opposed to going in perpendicular to the frame. When that happened, I just took the nail out using the other side of the hammer and got another nail. Then I put the new nail in a few millimeters away from the original hole. Each of the shelves has two nails on one side and two nails on the other. That makes a total of 16 nails for the four shelves. So the thickness of the nails was a big part of this. I had to make sure they weren't too thick. Otherwise they would splinter the wood. And that's because each shelf is 3 eighths of an inch thick. I also didn't want the nails to be too long because this could also cause splintering. And if I wasn't able to skillfully hammer the nail in at an angle of exactly 90 degrees, it would have a more obvious effect on the shelf and the nail would definitely stick out. So by using a nail that's one inch long, even if I was a little off, it didn't matter because the nail wasn't long enough and my angle wasn't bad enough to make the nail go through the shelf. Um, it also looks like I'm trying to kiss the wood. Uh, I'm not. Okay, so I'm finally done and now my shot glasses have a home.